call them bubble scientists, bubble artists, or just performers. But at the heart of it all, this father-son team of Fun and Danny Young will bring you back to your childhood with wild-eyed wonderment. The show, The Gazillion Bubble Show, is playing at Demarquee Downtown East from the 18th to 20th of March and offers a chance for those who missed that 2010 show. The Bubble Show has been running in New York since 2007 and is nearing its 1500th performance. Fun Young and 21-year-old Danny make time from the pre-show preparation to talk to Razor TV about their art. And I'm here with uh, Danny and Fun Young and they are like the bubble scientists or bubble uh, artists. Uh, welcome to Singapore, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, this is the second time you guys are in Singapore, right? Uh, so, um, what's your experience in Singapore so far? Hot. Very hot and humid. I came just from the winter, that's why, from New York. So, it's actually really cold there. So, it's a complete change. <laughs> well, I enjoy Singapore. I actually like uh, hot weather and I like uh, humidity because bubbles box very well. So, <laughs> when they say high humidity, yeah. And Singapore is the perfect place to do the bubble show. I'm scared. We have a father and son team. Uh, can I ask, like, when did you come on board in, uh, on, on the act? Oh, I started actually when I was four years old. Four years old? Yeah, I, at that time I was just playing when I was a little child, so it's not just work, but now it's just playtime. So it's just fun and games for me, really. Fun and games for you? Uh, I want to just ask Fan, uh, um, when did this infatuation with Bubbles begin? Uh, when you were a child or when you were 18? I had imagination from uh, when I was a little boy. When I was six years old, I uh, was dreaming about the Bubbles, how to make them work. But uh, I really started to work with Bubbles when I uh, was 18. I started to experiment with various liquid solutions to put things together, but I never thought that I would bring this kind of media to the stages around the world. It was all from my childhood imagination and now bring it to reality. When you first started out and you told people that you know, I want to, be, I want to take this, this bubble thing and make it career, were you met with a lot of skepticism and saying, oh no, you're not, you can't do that? At that time when I started with the bubbles, nobody could imagine what you can do with the bubbles. Even myself, I know that there is some, uh, something uh, to, uh, to bring out to the world and to explore. And uh, during this experimentation and the time that I spent, uh, I showed to many people around me uh, uh, bubble elements and tricks, whatever, but nobody really thinks that uh, this can be one day the, uh, bring into the entertainment industry, be, be something big, and uh, nobody believed it. And it was difficult. We, uh, we, uh, actually, people were very skeptical. Such an organic and natural material, I mean, of nature, and no one can expect it can turn out to be something as big as this. So, like, I mean, even when I was in school, everyone would just kind of like laugh or shrug off what I would do, but otherwise, when they actually see it, they're just completely amazed. So yeah, we have the last laugh right now, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they wish I was. They were here. <laughs> Danny definitely has the last laugh now that he is a successful performer in his own right. But does he still have to prove himself to his dad? Next up, his father gives us his honest opinion about his son, and something tells me the gloves are off. Competition now. Now it's just more like who's going to be the best. 